Hello and welcome back once again to Organic Cardboard. My name is Owen Kniep and today, uh, this is April uh, 10th of 2024, we got in a brand new game. Uh, this is uh, an age uh, contrived. Uh, this is a game that I believe, I believe it's a brand new designer if I remember correctly. This is Bellows Intent is the name of the uh, designer for this game. And this is something I backed last year. I had a pretty good turnaround actually. You know, you, we, uh, uh, I think it finished at the end of, was it May, maybe, of uh, last year? Somewhere around there, either May or March of last year. Uh, and so it's basically been right at a year uh, that they, they got the turnaround. So the game was uh, pretty much done, I, I believe, um, at least like all the design and stuff. They just had to kind of send it off to be printed, uh, I believe was the case. I, I could be wrong on a little bit of that but it, and, and anyways it, if they got it around that quickly as far as kickstarter games go you know they they must have had most of it done at that point um but uh, i so i backed the uh founders edition of this and so that's kind of like the full big deluxe i want to say uh, i think it was like 119 uh 119 dollars uh, us dollars before um shipping and all of that so uh it, was, it seemed like it was a pretty decent deal for what you got. You kind of got some extra deluxe like metal bits, uh, metal player boards and such. Uh, so yeah, I, I thought it was probably wor worth the price. I was uh, surprised when I got this box though and I went to go pick it up uh, from where the UPS man dropped it off at. And man, this thing is hefty. Like it's almost, I don't know how much, I want to say Gloomhaven. I don't know why off the top of my head, I want to say it's like 28 pounds or something for that. But this is over, this is just barely over 20 pounds. So a little more than I expected. And uh, an, age, an age contrived as, uh, well, well, I'll kind of talk about it as I, as I go about opening it. Um, I did want to get this open. I'm, I'm really kind of looking forward to this. Uh, this is somewhat of a, you know, deluxe uh, mechanic based game. Like it's not so much theme that's going on with it. Um, but let's see if we can go ahead and get this box opened up here and see if I can get this thing centered in a way that we'll be able to see it up top all the way through here. Okay. Yeah, uh, so again, this game, like when I went to go back it, when I was looking at it, I thought I was like, man, this is, uh, this is going to be one of those games that is just like a purely mechanic, like a game that the theme is more or less pasted on so that the mechanics make kind of sense while you're doing them, sort of, at least enough that you can actually understand why you're doing what you're doing. So this, I'm going to go ahead and pull out all the box pieces first, I think. This is the main, no, this is the expansion. So the, the version I got came with like a little... Uh, small expansion here as well. This is the Ad Infinit Infinitum uh, <laughs> expansion. And what you're kind of doing with this theme is that you're like gods that are going out and you're trying to like, I don't know, become like acclaimed amongst the people. You want followers, but you're not really grabbing followers like some kind of god sim game. You're not playing Populous or something like that. Um, you're kind of just doing a bunch of Euro mechanics and you're, uh, you've got a engine building like player board area that lets you do all of your actions. I'm gonna have to stand up just to get this thing out of here. Shoo, man, that's, that is a hefty little box. Really well packaged. We got some good thick cardboard in here to, to cover everything. That's the game itself. But yeah, you're, so your gods that are, uh, trying to build these like money you're trying to get these monuments built you're trying to get these people to kind of follow you so you can get like enough power to i don't know what be, be the best god or something be the the ascended one uh let's see it probably gives us a little bit of flavor text on the back here i can read this real quick it says the gods have ruled over eldranir for a thousand years never revealing that they are only as powerful as the mortals believe they are fed up with their dependence on Disparate and unstable mortal clans, the Pantheon conspires to engineer an enduring mortal civilization and secure their dominion over it. 
how will you win enough mortal belief to lead the pantheon in the age to come? So yeah, if that doesn't make any sense to you, it doesn't really make a lot of sense to me either. I don't, I don't think uh, this is a game that I purchased for the theme. Um, it looked like it was going to have some, uh, f you know, somewhat premium components set up. You got like little magnetic uh, pieces that you're going to be using to put these monuments up to actually create these little 3D pieces on the board. Uh, but they're basically just spots for you to show like, that you're claiming uh, points on, on the board. And, um, uh, and the neatest thing about it is that it's got this kind of like engine building um, action selection area that, uh, that is going to be your main mechanism for doing everything on the game. And the, the premium version that I got here has got some like an extra special bit for that where they, they actually made them out of metal. And they made this like silly extra uh, uh, little mechanism built into it so that you can flick these chits out of it. Um, so that looks fun. Uh, so what we got here is, let's see, this is probably the metal pieces themselves that come with this higher end game and it, or higher end version of the game. Metal coins go here, puncture, shrink wrap, lift here. Hmm. Okay, it gives us instructions. Punct one, puncture, shrink wrap. Two, lift here. <laughs> okay, let's let's do all that. And then it says metal coins go here. I guess this must have been instructions partially too for the people that were packaging this. All right, lift here. Okay. Puncture shrink wrap, lift here. Is this open? Oh, okay. It says assembly required. <laughs> like a piece of, it says, I wonder if I can get that in here at all. It probably, probably isn't gonna, maybe it'll catch up top. It says like a piece of flat packed furniture in your mechanical player boards come unassembled. Once assembled, they fit snugly in the game box with all other components. And then it gives a little bit extra information about how you can go about, you know, finding some videos for how to do that. So we probably won't put one fully together here, but we'll pull out some of the, the pieces here to show kind of what we're dealing with. So these are the middle player board. I think this is like the under piece, it looks like, because it's got no, no printing or anything like that on it. Uh, so this is something that um, they, they, they did do quite a bit of like kind of uh, specialized uh, uh graphic design and stuff on on these player boards as well as uh you yeah, have like some like uh, i'm, I'm kind of looking forward to once i finally open this box on here uh, is that they have uh, uh like uh, customized uh, inserts and stuff for the or like the in, inner part of the box is customized so you actually got to pick that during the campaign which is pretty neat uh so these are just yeah this really looks like this looks like some some kind of like flat uh, pack uh, furniture that you got to put together. There's some uh, just some black anodized metal. Um, we do have some metal tokens here. She ought to get out. I'm gonna move this box out of the way so maybe it'll focus on what I'm doing here and yeah, pull us down just a little bit. Just cause, yeah. So, let's see, these are probably representative of the different, mm, I don't know what these are, maybe the different gods, maybe you can pull this, the color out that matches your particular god, I think this little knot one goes with the, oh, okay, so these are the, I think these are the tokens that they use for, there's like a, a game mechanic in here where you can charge up this, this little token on your your player board that allows you to do special things these are actually really nice though um so they're metal and they have that like lacquer cut or whatever you call that like yeah that kind of lacquered finish uh to them so i'll pull out some of these here and then like they have a, a different symbol on the back i think one is the charge side the prettier side is the charge side and then the other side is like the, the uncharged side so you can change that out as you go. Well, these are these are really nice, really high quality looking uh, stuff, which I was kind of uh, expecting. Looking forward to this game was that these pieces in the game are going to be uh, really pretty. Again, if theme is not there, it's got to have everything else. Is what I'm, I'm hoping and expecting. Let's see. So 
Let's turn back this camera back up again. I wish I could do this hands-free, but you do what you can do. Um, so yeah, I'm not going to get all these metal pieces out here, but this is just a bunch of black anodized metal little chunks. I'm going to have to um, go through on some kind of a video, like how to put together video and, and see it's a lot of, a lot of little pieces, just like they, they really didn't, they weren't kidding when they said this was like putting together some flat pack furniture. So, uh, I may, I may go back, um, and add in a, a clip. Um, and maybe I'll do it like right here, <laughs> add in this clip here and, uh, and, and show what um, these actually look like once they're put together. I might, might come back and do that before I actually put this video out. So um, yeah, if I do do that, it will be right now. All right, so this is Owen from the future. And uh, now we've, we've got uh, my games technically sorted out at this moment. I've actually built uh, most of these uh, player boards, these transmutation boards um, for, for all the different characters. Now this was, uh, this was kind of neat too. They had where you could select the different um, like colors that you wanted to use for, the, for each, of the, uh, each of the different avatars. Uh, so each one of these has like a front and a back to it. So I've got this one laid out here because uh, I, I, I left the very last one uh, to do on the video to put it together. And on, uh, on each side of this, you've got two different like art sets of artwork. Um, and so this is actually the one that I'm not going to be using, the one that it's, that's showing on the, uh, on, on, on the camera here. Uh, but the back side is what I'm going to have it set at. And you set in it, there's a whole like how to, how to tutorial video that they um, send you to whenever you're, you're putting these together. And it's really well done. Uh, and, it, and it shows you step by step how to, how to go about it. Um, and so you lay it out just like this and then and then you're, you're ready to kind of put it together uh, real uh, easily and you have it ordered in the pieces that you need it to, to be done in. Uh, so I was actually going to just do this one on camera because uh, I've had a little bit of practice now so it shouldn't be uh, too difficult. Um, but these are the, the kind of pieces that you're dealing with. There's like these big anodized metal chunky uh, bits and this really adds a lot of weight to the game from, from what I can tell. Um, and then you've got these little sliders that you're going to use. Uh, that are going to let you uh, do this at the end where you're going to be able to take and throw those those energy tokens into here and just kind of shoot them out. <laughs> and so it's, it's really kind of over the top and uh, a bit of that uh, Kickstarter bloat that's uh, totally unnecessary, whereas uh, these are the uh, the player boards that are not the metal ones. So they give you these ones as well, which now they tell you to throw these away and it's like hard to throw that stuff away, but uh, we'll see. I don't know, it's kind of nice the idea of having some lightweight ones around too if I don't want to carry an extra 10 pounds in the, in the box with me. Um, but anyways, uh, so with this, uh, there's little slots that you'll use to just kind of insert uh, each of these little cardboard pieces and to these, all, all this, uh, whatever you want to call it, uh, CNC'd out pieces of metal here. And you lay these in so that you got kind of like a background on the back side of uh, for all the different little chits that are going to insert here. These are like little upgraded pieces that you'll you'll get as you're playing the game. So this will probably go pretty quick actually at this point. I don't want you to forget how to put it together at the last second. So the hardest part is this little area right here. Um, so they give you these sets of stickers and uh, so they I've, I've already pulled off the ones that I've, that I've used so far of the four that I've already used. Um, so again, you got you got two different variations for each of the characters um, and you just you know kind of get to pick that. They like to I guess set you up to customize the game the way that you want it. Um, just like how I have the in, inner lining of the top of the box is customized. Uh, so you can customize it from from these as well, but um, the sticker that I am going to use for this one I believe It's not that <laughs> let's not get the wrong one It's this one right here Yeah, because they give you like a guide to whenever you're putting these together they, they tell you like you know, maybe lay them all out together maybe take the uh, energy token jets and put them together too and see uh, how the color scheme is going to work best for you as a group for all of the different uh, gods or avatars, whatever you want to call them. 
And when I laid them all together, I think this is the one that I like the best for this Freyeth lady character. So they have you line these up, and this is, I'm just going to do this in real time on the camera just to show the how complicated or not complicated it may be to do in a run, because he makes it look super smooth on the video. You really got to line it up, because once it's stuck, it is on there good. So these have to be flush up with these holes right here. And once you're comfortable with it, you can kind of lay down the corners and then just slide it across. Again, don't count this as like necessarily a tutorial video of how to do this properly because the one that they put out is, is really well done. And I'm just doing what he does anyways. However, I've already seen, luckily, before I fully set that down, that I put it upside down. <laughs> so let's see if I can pull that back off without tearing it up. Added like an extra level of complexity here by doing this on camera. See, I did tear that a little bit, but it should be okay. Okay, so there's numbers on the top of each of these uh, whole areas here, so that's where I noticed that I was upside down. I've actually gotten pretty decent about being able to line that up pretty easily. The first few of them took me quite a while to, to get that lined really well. You just spread that down from the middle. Okay, hopefully that lays down well enough. If I really hate it, I can always change the sticker out later and just put it on the different color. It's actually almost went with, they're, they're all pretty neat in their own way. And we have to slide these little little energy token sliders into these spots. Okay. All right, and so this is like probably, well, I don't think it's the hardest part. I think that sticker is the hardest part, but they act like this is the hardest part to put together. So you've got to like slide, you've got to slide these things down into each one of these slots all at the same time. So there's this whole process that they tell you to get set up with to line it up just right, but that's just gonna go in super easy for me right now. However, one thing I did forget that I need to do before I fully put that in is to put these guys in here. So I'm doing this all off of memory and uh, it's not like I did this two days ago and put this same shirt back on to pretend that I did it in the same night. Totally didn't do that. Okay. It's got these little side pieces that you got to kind of fit in there because once you get it in with this, then you can't really do it unless they're unless you take them back apart like I just did. Okay. So they say this is kind of like putting together a piece of IKEA furniture. And I don't disagree with them over that. Now, this last piece. OK. 
Okay, I want to make sure this is going to go in the right direction. So, I just got to slide this last little. These are just like, I guess, little things to kind of block off some of the stuff to make the whole thing look smoother at the end. It still is going to show quite a bit of this anodized metal at the end of it, but overall it doesn't look too bad. I think everything looks like it's supposed to and thankfully the spot that I goofed up just a little bit with a stick or two is also going to be hidden by this metal bracket which I kind of thought it was going to be that's why I wasn't too worried about it so so that's nice don't have to feel bad about tearing my sticker a little bit you know how anal us board gamers can be So these little springs hold all of these little plungers in here. Sliders, whatever you want to call them. Got five all together. And they give you some extra springs in case you, I don't know, break one, lose one, lose a couple. So you should have at least five. I think I actually have six extra ones. So now that that thing is set up, all of these will slide just like that, and and then you've got this little uh, like kind of holder that you use to to kind of prop the thing up. I wonder if I can put this in the right way. Let's see. And one way you can tell if you you got the right sides of these is that the kind of more smooth, rounded off side of the cardboard punch out will be on the outside of all these pieces. So it's one of the easier ways to figure out what orientation you're supposed to be at with them. Okay. So this has a couple little like notches in the side of it. On either side and so this this metal will uh, or I guess the metal yeah part of it so, something of it here yeah okay let's see which part is it it kind of grew sits down in those grooves yeah that's right and the front here you've got on these feet uh, it's got like a little notch on each of these spots and so those, those are what are going to kind of hang into that cardboard and it just gives you a little catch space and it raises it a little bit so that when you actually put in these uh, energy tokens, well, let's uh, let's get some of these cardboard pieces out because I'm gonna fully fill this uh, transmutation device out. So this is kind of the main mechanism of the game uh, is that you're playing with this transmutation board, you're upgrading it. These little uh, action, these little like energy token holding uh, cardboard pieces will hold, um, will slide uh, out of here as you use them. You'll kind of pop them off out the, out the outside. But you can always pull them off from the middle too. And so you, they have little squares in them that are able to hold all of these little Azul type kind of chits in here. So as you, when you start the game out, I believe you're going to have like these three spots filled here whenever you take an action you'll have these uh, air these spots on the bottom that are going to be filled in with all of the different uh, main types of actions that you're going to be doing in the game and then these can get upgraded to like higher level actions and then you've got uh, ones in the top too that'll also uh, add extra activations that kind of line up with these uh, these these little icons that'll show up in the middle of the, the cardboard little slidey bits um, and so from here, you'd like choose one of your actions that you want to do and you'd spend that energy off. And then this one would uh, get put out in a way um, on the board. And then that's when this little mechanism comes into play. You can just kind of pop things out. So it's completely unnecessary. It's, it's way over the top for what 
uh, is actually going on in the game. Like there's no, there's literally no need for you to have to do all that. Uh, but it is cool. It does make it look, you know, this thing looks, and, and this isn't, I guess it's supposed to be an unboxing. It's not quite a review, but um, I've had a little time to play and look, and look at these things at this point. And uh, they, they, they're they not the most premium looking, feeling things. There's kind of these weird tabs off to the side that I believe are just to help hold this into the insert properly. It's kind of, um, it, it, I don't know what the, what the word is. It's a little bit um, uh, like, not, it's, it's not the most elegant looking device. It's just these big, you know, chunky kind of pieces of, of anodized metal. It looks like hardware uh, for something. It doesn't look like it's, it's it's a uh, I don't know like this high this high end deluxe game piece uh, even though it kind of is you know you've got these cardboard pieces that fit down in there and all the the colored bits at, at the same time too to kind of customize it to that character that you uh, just the way that you want it um, so I mean they're neat they're 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 totally unnecessary though um, I will probably always play with them though just because I have them and and why not um, but yeah that's the uh, the the transmutation devices these are the uh, other few that i have already put together as well so this is the one for the the dragon here i just kind of maybe lay these out we can see them all at the same time this is the one for the crow so it uses this like kind of black colored energy so i went with the, the real dark scheme for it and then we've got the kind of mechanic dwarf character i thought his were pretty neat it's again it's a little hard to see these really well just because you got all this black metal that's just kind of hanging out around all this stuff um it's kind of chunky i don't know tabby it's kind of like lots of little tabs and stuff coming off of this little bent metal um but whatever it is what it is uh the tree also is pretty nice the roosney character or whatever the the guy with the tree fro he's uh he's got a pretty neat pattern i thought it's got another one that um, is a little more bland uh that you can go with it's kind of like a swirly metal bit but oh well they're they're neat enough uh and then comparing that again to the the regular cardboard pieces they're i guess more premium but they're they are kind of that kickstartery bloat unnecessary stuff like you could just as easily take something like this and throw down all those those slider pieces and do the exact same thing with them just with a flat piece of board right like, like that um i don't know they're they're neat so we'll we'll just leave it at that but that is the uh, metal transmutation devices so you can fully see what they look like uh, beyond just that initial unboxing so back to old owen from two days ago wow isn't that cool? Okay. <laughs> That's what they look like. They're so cool. All right. Uh, nothing else in this box. Looks like there's a little bit of extra space and stuff. I'm just going to set this off to the side. Let's get to the main attraction here. Set this other metal bits off to the side. Okay, I think that's probably a good photo distance. I want to make sure all this stuff's out of the way so it's not catching it on the focus of the camera. Okay, but yeah, it's hard to explain what the heck is going on again in this game, but it's it's primarily what you're doing is you're gaining uh, at least little energy tokens. The energy tokens let you do stuff on the board. To gain points you've got special actions that you're doing on your your player boards and then you're you're going to be able to upgrade that as you go um, in kind of a euro -y fashion and you're just trying to be the one that has the most points at the end it's just one of those kinds of kinds of games um, again really pretty uh, with a pasted on theme <laughs> so let's flip this back over it's actually got raised um, lettering here on the outside of the box that's 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 nice it's a little slightly more premium feel to it okay so this is my custom insert so i actually got the or uh, lining I, I keep calling it in the insert this is the the uh, top box lining so i got to actually pick the uh, colors that went in this i got to pick the um this this 
tree, I guess. I, this is one of the monuments. I think I just like the way it looked the best as far as the colors and everything go. And, uh, and I put a uh, quote. So they, they, for whatever reason, they wanted you to just be able to put any quote you wanted. You could put a famous person's quote. You could make up a quote. Uh, you could probably have cursed in it. I don't know if they said that you couldn't curse in it or not. Um, I did not curse in mine. <laughs> uh, but I am, uh, the, I've got the Founders Edition number 449 out of 3,650 of them. So it's pretty cool. And mine, I wonder if I can get this to show on the camera here. Mine says, well, let's zoom it down. That way I can actually read the thing. Okay. So. Mine says, uh, wisdom is knowing I'm nothing. Love is knowing I'm everything in between the two my life moves. Uh, as I really like that quote. It's from a, so, oh God, I, I wish I could remember the name of it. I think it's like some kind of uh, yogi guy from India, but I heard it a long time ago and I thought, man, that's a pretty cool quote. So went with it. And I felt like it kind of like, I don't know, it's kind of godlike quote set so too, so thought it kind of went with the game. Uh, so here we have the, the rule book. Let's put this off to the side for a moment. Flip through some of this. So um, yes, uh, nice thick paper. It's not linen finished, uh, but it's thick. It's not like that, like real pulpy magazine kind of material. So that's nice. I mean, like pretty thick. Well, yeah, pretty, pretty thick. So Good quality in that regard. Yep. So total of 35 pages in here. And then it's got all the little sections for the, the monument on the back, the monuments on the back of it. And we've got another book. This is the solo rule book. Same quality. So I'm, I'm fully expecting to be very confused at the start of this game, but I, I don't know. I, I, I watched a video of um, at least at least half of the video of uh, Knights Around a Table's video, the uh, rules video for it. And he's such, such a good rules teacher. Uh, I, I, I think that, you know, he, he seemed to make it you know, fairly easy to understand. I didn't go all the way through the full rule book yet. I kind of, I'm one of those people that I kind of have to have the game out in front of me to really grok the rules. So, uh, so we got some stickers here. I'm going to tuck those off in this bag just so that they don't get lost. All right. And then we've got some player aids. That just give like looks like it gives you all. So you have asymmetric abilities for the different uh, gods. So you've got like kind of an avatar of your your different god that you're going to be, and uh, and then they all have their own little special actions that they can do. I think are probably just going to be like you know specialized versions of the basic actions. You've got like four or five different main actions that you'll do, and then this will give you a little rundown of those. So that's nice, good to know stuff. So then these are, hmm, looks like we've got more stickers and stuff. This might be things that we will line the, uh, the metal uh, player boards with. Not sure. Not sure about that yet, but this, this has got, huh. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know if that's because this looks like, your pool of stuff. This might be something for solo. Uh, I, I don't know. That looks a little, but these stickers look like something that might go on either your cardboard player boards or your, your metal ones. Okay. So here we've got a big chunk of cardboard. So this is like the weight of the, the main weight of the, this box anyways. Feels like there's still, you got a lot of these, like these uh, pretty uh, kind of Azul like chits that they've got uh, that same kind of domino material. Um, I'll pull out the last uh, few things here in just a moment. I'm going to move that off to the side for a moment, for a second. Let's pull out some of these chits and take a look at them. So these are, again, about, about like a Zool. They're kind of mm, sim probably similar in size, maybe slightly smaller. 
Uh, so they have, these are your energy cubes, and I uh, believe, uh, so you got five different colors and one for each of the different uh, gods then. And you've got a few different uh, designs on each of these. And let's pull that down where we can see it a little bit. Okay. Uh, so yeah, so you've got a few different designs. Um, these, I, I, th I think these all act as just like energy when you're, you're playing the game, like regardless of what the uh, design is on it. But uh, I think you have specific spots on the board that some of these energy pieces have to go to. So I think that's what um, the different symbols are. Again, I'm still kind of learning the idea of the, the game. I haven't gone through a game, obviously, yet. Uh, so I'm going to have to see what that looks like. You know, as, as I finish out the rules. So let's take a look at some of the cardboard here. Okay, so these probably have a cardboard version of all of those metal player boards. We have in that separate box. Uh, so this is the tree that um, came in the back of my in the back of my box here. That's the same same monument that I, that I put in the back over here. And I don't know, I know these things magnetize. So you've got well, let's see off the top here. This is just a uh, just a little. Um, score sheet. We'll set that off to the side. Nothing special to see there. Uh, this player board, or the game board here, has holes in it. And the holes, you put um, like a little metal uh, kind of tonged uh, piece of metal inside of it that will stick up and give you points in which to attach your magnet. So I'm assuming there's some magnetic stickers somewhere in here that we are going to probably attach to the uh, monument. I wonder how much of that I can get in here with this. Things a booger having to pull back and forth constantly, but there we go. That's got, yeah, that's got the whole player board in it. Uh, so this is the player board itself. So um, you, it, uh, it looks like we've got like some shiny bits here. These are kind of like magically bound areas. This is going to be where the uh, the monuments are, themselves are going to be at. And I do have the board upside down, at least in my orientation. I'm going to turn it around. Um, so the yeah, it's n n nice looking board. Nothing you know, n nothing to really uh, point out too much. Other than that, it looks like it's nice. You know, good thickness of cardboard. Um, you got that kind of soft uh, printed finish on it. And then again, you've got these little swirly bits. I don't know if they'll show up in the, in the camera very well at all, but you might, you might be able to catch a little shine if I move the board around a little bit. But some of these have, uh, are, are they're, they're kind of printed up on the board. Um, and those are going to be areas that you lock energy into as you're building these monuments. And again, you're going to have these little tonged uh, pieces that uh, I know I saw uh, somewhere uh, kicking around in the... I think that other box, so I'm not going to go uh, fishing them out right now. But again, each one of these monument pieces then will... I'm losing everything. <laughs> I'm like, where did I set? There it is. I'm going to pop one of these out. So like this tree spot, I'm assuming maybe it goes right here. I don't know. That monument looks a little bit different, but uh, where would the tree go? Okay. Well, I'm not going to hunt it too hard, um, but it'll it'll kind of pop in um, like that and 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 stick in the side. So these will all be laying down in an area, and and this is what I was talking about—the different kinds of of energy showing up. So I don't know if I can get that to focus by just picking this up, but I'll put it on the front uh, camera because I know it's going to focus real quick. So that shows a few of the different energy types. So I believe like to put your energy down on this monument to claim it, you have to have like two out of the three or whatever it is. Maybe it's different per player count. Um, but then they have the specific types of energy on it. But otherwise, I don't think, I don't think there's anything else as far as like your action selection goes uh, that you need the specific energy tokens for. 
Uh, but yeah, so uh, eventually though, this thing will, will just be sitting kind of up on the, the table here. And again, I don't think this is the exact spot for the tree, but, um, but we're going to say that it goes there <laughs> for now. But yeah, pretty bored. Uh, they got uh, real nice artwork on all of this. Um, yeah, it just it just looks like kind of like a magical world. Uh, nothing too there's nothing too over the top about it or anything. You just got all the um, all, all the important little Euroe spots on the on the there's different areas of the board and little areas that bridges and stuff are gonna go at and and uh, so that all that all looks nice. I don't uh, see anything on the back except I will go ahead and flip it over once because there's uh, symbols that do show you at the very least like the types of uh, monuments and where they go at. So yeah, the tree, the tree monument doesn't show up anywhere, but maybe uh, it's symbolized with a different symbol that's just not obvious to me right here. Or maybe it's a special monument that came in off the expansion. I, I can't remember. Um, but that is the, the player board. So let's go ahead and fold that guy back up. And we'll sit you right here. So let's flip through a few of these. Pull it down again. Okay. All right. So these are a few of the gods uh, that you can pick from. You've got this kind of like crow. Um, and these looks like these all punch out. So these are going to be spots that we'll, you'll upgrade these, these, uh, I can't remember what color his energy is, but, uh, you have these little, little tokens that'll kind of get to upgrade and then get put out on the board. It's like a special placement, uh, ability or whatever, whenever you do movement. Um, we got Freya. She looks like she's some kind of portal lady. She's got, a. Uh, She's got some kind of little little portal that's sitting behind her. You got some kind of gold dragon who's kind of circling around some key. I think they just didn't really care too much to make the theme super serious in this game. Um, they just wanted to make some stuff that looked cool. <laughs> so you've got this kind of like mechanical looking dude. It's called Multinek. And he looks like some kind of blue uh, dwarfish looking guy with a beard. And he's... Uh, He's just looking at some some gadget that he's made, I guess. Um, and then you have like a like a tree man here that's got an oak shield, and he looks like he's kind of got uh, uh, the mask from from the movie The Mask on. <laughs> and then he's got uh, armor and things on it. He's got a tree grown out of his head. But these are, uh, I think, these are supposed to be considered like the gods of the game. Um, does they have? Let's see. They were gonna have. Yeah, I guess I guess the artwork is the same on both sides. It looks like I know they made a big thing like in the Kickstarter for this that you could like pick the different art designs that were going on these boards. So that was kind of cool. Um, so these uh, cardboard chits here are I don't know what they I can't remember what they call them like wind tokens or something like that. But uh, one of the upgraded bits were the these metal versions of these. Just kind of odd cardboard pieces that I guess you could trade out for for these. Um, so yeah, uh, kind of odd choice uh, with these metal ones because the uh, I mean they're the same uh, nice uh, kind of lacquered metal uh, little button looking pieces, but these ones don't have any information on them. Oops, this just has these little turquoise diamonds and some wind behind it. Uh, whereas these cardboard chits, at least on one side of them, have quite a bit of information. So I, I don't know what that's about. If uh, on the back of it, it just has kind of something more similar to what the metal has. So I guess maybe like you just learn what those mean and then you don't really have to use, see the, you know, the iconography in order to pick it up. So I guess there's that. Um, but these, you know, it just... I felt like the main thing that I wanted with the Primo was those those metal little uh, mechanistic player board gadget things that, that flick the chits out and stuff uh, as far as getting the, the, the ultra uh, deluxe version of the game, the Founders Edition. These are all going to be uh, these little 
uh, action boards that you use that will hold the uh, those square pieces in them, and, and then they'll you'll kind of uh, tuck them in. There'll, there'll be this mechanism along this this track that it's not gonna. It's really not gonna. I shouldn't even try to start explaining how this game works because it doesn't really make uh, a lot of intuitive sense right away. Uh, but basically, these are going to be things that you can upgrade as you go. You can uh, get new ones, better ones, ones that can hold more chits and have some special actions on them as well. So those are going to be showing up and, and going to be able to be purchased uh, as the game goes on. And then you'll have this whole like action mechanism of... Uh, changing these guys out as you go and you can only hold seven of them at a time so your board can hold five and then you have two off on the side and you eventually have to kind of throw away your old ones uh, to get new ones and then uh, here let's see this so this is this is one of the uh, like bases for one of the gods so this is for that tree fella if I can just back this up for a second. So yeah, um, and then you've got a little, little X, just a couple different chit spots where things are going to kind of change out on these. So I'm just going to fix those later. <laughs> but there's these are all upgradable, changeable areas. So there's a lot of customization. You've got this this engine that you're kind of creating as you go uh, with your player board, and that's like kind of the appeal of the game is just playing with the mechanisms of the game and and uh, upgrading and getting an engine going, um, but otherwise it's just kind of a Euro-y um, mashup of stuff. Uh, so these are the cardboard versions of those metal chits I showed earlier. Um, so these are like uh, whatever, just those little power-up tokens that can, can be charged up on your player board area to do uh, extra special stuff. These are all the uh, different kinds of uh, bridges uh, so you got, I don't know if you remember on the, the, the board itself, but it has, um, is that thing going to focus for me? It looks like it's popping in and out of focus. These are, uh, these are all those different bridge pieces and they're going to have the, um, the different things that happen whenever somebody crosses a bridge, little benefits that they get. You get benefits to, uh, there's kind of some positive player interaction where everybody gets some stuff. Um, these are a couple more of the the god boards themselves. So you've got like the the crows up, stuff up here, and then I think I think they may they may have given both color versions of these. Yeah, I think this is both. I think this is both. So they gave you both options. So originally they had us pick these out, but I think they just added both of them in at the end. It's just a bunch of different color varieties, just more customization. You can just go with the art that you that you like the best yourself. A couple more of them. This looks like the ones for the little mechanical guy here. I'm not sure about the one up top. Yeah, a couple couple more different styles on the bottom. So you can just make your own play, you know, make your player board your own, I guess, as you set up the game. We got some uh, more chits here that uh, look like different monument pieces, mostly. These might be customizable stuff for the board, I'm not sure, like things that um, maybe you can change out, uh, different like variations of the setup. Uh, these are just additional pieces that would make up the, um, the cardboard versions of the player boards. So, uh, so yeah, so this all, this all has little, uh, insert pieces and in ways that I'm not even going to mess with trying to pull those out. Cause hopefully I can just do the metal ones and leave these somewhere else, but maybe I'll do a put together of, of both of them just to show the difference, at least of one of these cardboard ones. So these all match all those different colors that we already showed. <laughs> and I'm not going to be able to keep all this stuff together, so I'm just going to do what I usually do when I do these these unboxing videos and just make a big mess on my table. There's uh, a couple other colors. I 
for the dragon and one of the other guys. It's probably just all the different little side pieces and stuff. So that's what these next couple pieces are too. Just some more, more artwork. And these just fall right out of the cardboard too. There ain't gonna be any like keeping this stuff together in, a, in, in the original cardboard sprees. Stuff's just falling out as I pick it up. And we've got one more uh, piece of cardboard here that's got uh, just some more monument pieces. These are these look like uh, more pieces that can be um, upgraded on your your player board here as well. So you got all that kind of stuff showing up. But some really nice artwork on some of the, some of these things. This little cathedrally looking area here and. Pretty neat, pretty neat, neat looking stuff. It looks, it looks, uh, the, the game in general looks like it's a very uh, pretty game. If it doesn't make a whole lot of sense, it's still at least it's very pretty. So I'm gonna pull out the, pull out some of this stuff. I think this does have all game trays uh, insert pieces here. I'm just going to grab a, a, some example, like an example of a couple of these. Let's see. Oh, okay. Some of that is like stuck in the box itself, so I'm not going to pull it out because it's kind of like part of the, the insert itself. But we have these, um, these game trays uh, inserts here. So those are all nice. There's a few of them. There's like four maybe of these in the in the box. Um, so you've got areas for all the little chits and stuff, just like you kind of expect from from game trays. I believe this is actually game trays. I don't see their logo printed on them like the, a lot of the times they do that, where they print their logo on those inserts themselves or the, the little containers, but the lids at least. Uh, but I don't see them on there. But I'm pretty sure it was game trays that made these. So then we do have uh, a few different plastic miniatures for all of the different gods here. And they've got all their little colored bases. So I'll bring these up to the front cam where we can get a good peek at them. These usually show up pretty good on the front cam. So this is the chick with the uh, kind of portal in behind her. Then we have the crow probably going to be a fan favorite for this game because he's just pretty cool looking. It looks like this kind of monk, scholar, crow character. And here's the guy with the uh, the tree fro. I got a big old literal bush on his head. And this is your your dwarf looking guy. An engineer looking fella and then the the dragon's pretty neat he kind of looks like he's sort of standing behind what might be a uh, Mayan calendar but not a Mayan calendar because it doesn't go with this universe that has a little coin on the back you can see the back of it and he's kind of standing in the front of it it looks like he's wearing a cape too this dragon likes capes so yeah just some goofy looking characters you got one extra chit here too Pull this guy out. And this is just a metal first player token. It's got number one. Get it where you can actually see the light on that thing. It's kind of dark. He was number one. Yep. Just again, that kind of lacquered finish metal. Those metal chits are really pretty, look really nice. Um, yeah, I think, oh, there is, uh, there is still the, the expansion box itself as well. So let's pull that out and make a big mess with that too. Nothing opens this plastic like a serrated steak knife. Get all my 
that mess off to the side a little bit. I'm doing this at like one in the morning right now, so I don't really think this table's gonna get clean tonight. Okay, so this is uh, an age contrived ad infinitum. Um, kinda wanna see what it says on the back. Repeated play pack. This expansion adds new variability to the core game of an age contrived. It can be used to balance out the learning curve for new players, add an extra challenge for experienced players, and add game to game variations and higher stakes for groups that play regularly. It can accommodate any combination of players entering, exiting, or re entering your group. It's got everything you need. So we got components, spiel material. It looks like they put a German, it looks like they put all the, okay, so my main game only had uh, English uh, rule book, but it looks like they put uh, all the different rule books in here. I guess they just didn't have enough content for the, you know, to say this is a big expansion. This is just like one extra monument and a few extra little pieces in here. So let's see what we got for the cardboard. Okay, uh, some coins. Um, got the new monument here. Some little fiery torch. Yeah, not really sure what all this does yet, but I'm sure it's just like like it just said like it says just some little additional content. Um, flip a little bit through this rule book. Just a couple pages in this rule book. Talks about these new tokens, advancement tokens, logging your plays in, infinitum benefit tokens, some other just special stuff, and then it's got rules for solo play on the back here. And then I think this is another, yeah, this is a tracking board that I'll probably never write on. It's kind of poor printing on these. Yeah, like it's, you know, honestly, this kind of looks like something I'd print out myself at home uh, with my inkjet printer. Um, not the highest uh, quality print, but it is uh, like that papery kind of pulpy material, or that you know that you know something that's going to take ink pretty well. So it doesn't not doesn't matter at all that this is like a little lower quality print, but um, but yeah, that's that's the only other thing in there. So uh, very uh, minor additions in that uh, expansion, but. Um, oh, uh, I, I, we do have one other component piece here too that I didn't pull out, and that's some of these cards. I'm assuming, assuming these may be part of the solo play, perhaps, because I do see it referring to a bot on one of these cards. So, Let's see what we got. Give them an old smell check. Yeah, I've smelled better cards. Pull these down. Okay. Apologies for any extra wobbling on that camera. I'm gonna steady it a little bit. Okay. So we got uh, yeah the different uh, gods here. Looks like maybe these are the like what you use to uh, represent the bots, and then you probably play off of that. And then we've got all these different little action cues and stuff that are going to show up. These look like they might be tarot size cards, roughly as far as sleeves go. But yeah, just a big string of of icons and I'm sure you'll know exactly how all that works once you go through the solo rules. Um, and then we have something else here. That's not the stuff I already went through, I don't think, no. Um, okay, it looks like you've got two different like flavors for each of the bots maybe. So, uh, and this kind of goes along with those colored sides of the different, where each one of them has kind of like two colors to their player board. Uh, so this one uh, says Sprint, and then it says Grind on the back. Uh, Freyeth has got Build and Empower, so maybe these are just like attitudes that these guys are using. Arise and Amass for Ignotoss, the dragon. 
and molten neck. He can construct, surprise, and uh, diversify. And then uh, Rus Rusne, Rusne, I don't know how you do the dot over the E, what that's supposed to be. Rus I'm going to call him R Rusne. Uh, he can either do as wander or regrow as his uh, couple uh, bot flavors. So cool. So it's got everything you need to have a you know a good uh, Euro uh, experience with this game, uh, at least on you know initial glance. Uh, I'm I'm really am looking forward to getting this together. Uh, I'm looking forward to, to playing with those uh, those metal player boards and everything. Those look look like they're going to be pretty fun. Uh, but I think that uh, is about all we have for this unboxing of an age contrived. Uh, the Founders Edition, Special Edition. So, uh, guys, uh, thank you so much for stopping by. You know, uh, I can't tell you how much I appreciate your eyeballs and, and the time that you guys uh, give to us uh, content creators out here making uh, these silly videos for you guys. And, and um, just, again, thank you so much. Uh, if you enjoy this kind of content, you know, a couple of those little free clicks on the screen really help support out channels like mine. And uh, I appreciate it uh, so much when you do. But as always, do what is right for you. Until next time, I hope you all are having a wonderful rest of your evening. Uh, if you backed an age contrived, I hope it is arriving at your doorstep as we speak. So again, thank you so much. I hope you all have a wonderful evening. See you on the next video. Take care. Bye-bye.